Today in the news, we talk about the 1660 Ti and the Radeon 7. What's up guys, I'm Snows and this is your boot sequence. Nvidia's next mid-range GPU has been leaked pretty much completely, from the absurd name which makes absolutely no sense, down to its lack of ray tracing features. But ray tracing isn't the only thing that came forward with the reveal of the Turing architecture, and I think that the 1660 Ti might inherit one of them. First of all, let's break down the Turing architecture real quick. The whole thing is split in three. We have the CUDA cores or Turing stream processors, which will take care of most of the work in regular regular rasterized gaming. Then we have the RT or ray tracing cores which obviously take care of ray tracing. And lastly we have the tensor cores which are pretty versatile. Not only can they help with ray tracing as we've seen with the Titan V which doesn't have any ray tracing cores but still performs well with the tensor cores and they also help with denoising that ray traced image depending on what denoiser is used. And lastly the tensor cores are the main powerhouse behind DLSS and DLSS might make it over to the 1660 Ti. Every time I've heard Nvidia talk or reference DLSS, it seems like they're putting it in a separate bin from RTX, acting like DLSS is a standalone technology. And it is. It's not dependent on Turing or RT cores, only the tensors. So it is possible that this tech could make it into the mid-range cards. Now all the leaks that we've had so far show us the CUDA core count of the GPU, the clock speeds, the memory speeds, and the size of said memory, but it never touched on the tensor or RT cores until now. Tech Power Up reported that the specs of the device will have 1536 CUDA cores, a base clock of 1500 MHz, and a boost clock of 1770 MHz. It also mentions zero RT cores and 192 tensor cores. As usual, you've got to take this with a grain of salt, but personally, I don't see why Nvidia wouldn't want tensor cores on their mid-range card. Think about it. DLSS, just like ray tracing, is a brand new technology to gaming, but DLSS is also something that improves performance instead of hurting it, and is a lot more likely to make it into games. So far, 25 games are slated to include the technology. So by including tensor cores and by proxy DLSS, they could be the king in any game that supports it, whether it's a 1660 Ti or a GTX 1650. Anyways, now it's time for you guys to let me know what you think. Do you think that those specs are just wrong and that no tensor cores will be on this card? Do you think that DLSS is an integral part of RTX and that Nvidia would not want to have it on their mid-range GPUs? Whatever it is, just let me know down below. Next up, we've got the Radeon 7. Tons of outlet have their reviews out already, and I'm not here to review it since I haven't even touched one, but it seems like the card has a pretty mild future. In gaming, it rarely beats the 2080 and mostly matches or sits between the 2080 and 2070. For productivity, it looks great on paper, but I think we'll have to wait for AMD's optimizations before we can look into it. If you want details on it, check out the Hardware Connects review because there are definitely interesting tidbits when it comes to video editing benchmarks. For 700 bucks, it's not what I hoped for, but I'm not giving up on AMD since they are known to improve their card's performance with their drivers. As for the card itself, it looks like third parties are going to churn some out, with Gigabyte being one of the first. All right, have you guys played Apex Legends? I have, and it took me a while to sort of get the hang of it, but I definitely prefer it over Fortnite or PUBG. I really think that the Legends abilities bring out so much more to the gameplay compared to other battle royales. A year ago, some rumors were going around that Blizzard was looking for devs for a potential battle royale style game, and I think that if Blizzard had made one, it would play and feel like Apex. Anyways guys, that is pretty much it for the news today. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Don't forget to drop me a like down below as usual, you can click right here to see the latest video, right here to subscribe to the channel. It would be greatly appreciated. Stay frosty, and I'll see you guys in the comments section down below. I'll, I'll try and answer every single comment down on this video. All right, take care, guys.